And here we are back again. And if uh, that didn't have you tapping your feet, I think uh, this group will have you scratching your head. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hard act to follow. Hard act to follow. <laughs> uh, we've got Melinda Burns here, and she's going to give us an idea of what you might, if you, there's any disabilities in your life, and you need to know what a few tips that she's going to share with us. And Richard Zizicki is going to be talking about how you can get your taxes done. You don't have to go anywhere. You can go to your computer, do it, and it's a safe site. Is that right, Richard? That's right, Anne. Circles no of problem. Mercy Thank and you. also Wildwood. So tell us a Great. little bit about, first of all, the disabilities. Okay, we're sharing a lot of information today about the tax credits and provisions for people with disabilities. Um, there are a number of them available. If you're blind, you can get a higher deduction. If you get SSI, Supplemental Security Income, or Veterans Benefits, that is not counted toward your tax oh, okay. liability. Oh, that's nice. So know. that's good to know. Um, if you have any sort of impairment that affects your work, where you have impairment-related work expenses, you it's a fun. larger monitor if you're everything involved. It okay. could be from personal care. Any kind of adaptive equipment, oh, adaptive any assisted, equipment yep, thinking, yeah. assistive technology, anything that helps you work. Transportation, it could be anything involved mm -hmm. there. You always save your receipts Absolutely. as we talk about save your receipts, but that is called an early and fondly known as an early. But the impairment related work expenses are very important for a large number of people who need that to go to work. Anything so would they be able to deduct function. like uh, transportation to it from work if they need a special uh, a car or something to do that? Potentially. Or? They'd yeah. have to prove the need. Yeah, the need for it. Right. You'd have to prove the need, document that there's a disability that needs that. Yeah, okay. It's just Good. not for everybody to do that. Well, no, no, I, I understand. That. So yeah. if there's I mean, there's a always going to be people that are going to kind of slide in, that. but they can't. Don't but do that. <laughs> yep. Well, you have to document everything. Yeah. So, okay. um, If you're under 65 and you've taken retirement early, disability retirement early, so this affects a lot of people, they are entitled to a deduction on their taxes as well. Uh, medical expenses, this is a very big one. A lot of people incur with disabilities incur a lot of medical expenses around conditions, treatments, diagnoses, transportation supplies, was you transportation, add your, add your transportation on that as well. Um, overnight the, stays if, if you have to stay overnight in a hospital. Yep, everything um, involved with medical expenses. And there is an, an amount that you get to um, to allow that for that medical expense, but mm -hmm. that's a tax provision built in because it is above and beyond what usually insurance will cover. Right. So these are things that are not covered by typical insurance. Right, right, right. Okay. And finally, the other uh, really big area we've talked about before is the earned income tax credit. Mm -hmm. For people with disabilities, there's some important information to know that the EITC, if they got a refund, does not count toward their income. Okay. Well, that's, that's another nice huge. thing. That's yeah. very yeah. big. People are afraid of that. They well, don't want to claim know. it. Well, they don't They didn't get a w, W2 form and they're going, well, gee, should I add it or shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got a one investment that I have. It's funny. And I'm looking and looking for the W-2 form, and I realized over the it entire is. year that I earned $3.25. <laughs> and I go, oh, no wonder I didn't get a, a 1099. <laughs> I think i got to get rid of that investment. <laughs> and the EITC actually is not counted as a resource for 12 months. Most people spend it pretty quickly, mm. but if there's an event where it would impact their benefits, they are always going to look at that as, or not counting it as a resource for 12 months. So you have a year to spend it, right, right, which okay. is really good. A lot of people with disabilities don't have a high income, so they think, oh, I don't have to file. You know, file. But to, in order to get the earned income tax credit, have they to. have to file a tax return, okay. even if they're at a lower income level than okay. expected. Well, the earned income tax level, do you have to be working to get that? or? Yes. Right, that's right. Yeah, yes. you have to be working. That's mm -hmm. what I thought. That's what they yeah. had. But well, you're you saying they don't think they earn enough. Exactly. Okay. So it's an okay. earned income um, based on that. And, and that mm -hmm. level fluctuates depending on the number of hours that they work, how much salary they make, mm -hmm. plus the number of dependents that they have. Right. Now, uh, Richard, uh, when you have this, this My Free Tax, you know, the, the, to do your taxes online, mm -hmm. Um, does this does this work for people with disabilities, or is, is would this be more complex? Well, I think it's got the, the the ability to do that, particularly if they're tech savvy uh, individuals. Um, one of the nice things about the, the what we call FASA sites or facilitated self assistance is that um, it, it's a new program, but it's totally secure. Uh, it's for people uh, with combined either individuals or combined incomes of uh, 87, 87, 87, 
yes. Or 50, 58, I'm sorry, 58,000 or less. <laughs> okay, all right. And uh, so, I mean, that's a, a big uh, chunk of the population. And it's a really easy program. It's secure, it's online. It, it takes you through the steps. Um, but how do you keep your, your you got to print it out, is that Yes, it? it's got the whole okay. thing. You have that you whole capability. You don't keep it in the clouds or anything. No, no, no. You, you uh, can print off a copy of it. It's electronically. Once you're done, you electronically submit your refund to the IRS plus for free. Plus, you also have the ability of doing the same thing for your state return. Okay. Submitting it electronically for free. And then, uh, provided that you've entered in uh, the correct banking, routing number, and, a, and, an, and an account number, those de uh, refunds will be go right into your direct account. deposit direct. right into your account within seven to ten business days. And what is the, that site? One more one. So I, I don't know if I said it right. Yeah, That's why it's myfreetaxes.com okay. backslash uh, New York cap, cap region. Okay. And that you'll get there even if you just type <clears throat> right. in that properly. And, and then many, uh, the other, you can go right to our Cash Coalition website, um, Cash Coalition. Uh, of the greater mm -hmm. cash of the greater capital it's region. It's C-A-S-H. Don't right. put the dollar, Don't put the sign, dollar in sign in because I did that and I couldn't get there and I go, what Excuse am I me. doing wrong? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then many of the partners have that same link uh, on their homepage. Like mm -hmm. Melinda has it on her home webpage. We have it on Circles. City of Albany has it on their uh, webpage for the so city. So it's out there. So it's mm -hmm. out there and it's uh, new this year and it's something that we've been promoting besides the uh, regular VITA uh, Yeah, the VITA sites. sites where you can go and have your taxes done for free, and of course the AARP has it as well. Right. But this is different. This one you can do in the privacy of your own home, and they kind of walk you through it. Is that yes, correct? Yes, it's very easy. Uh, you're prompted for different things. If you get stuck, there's an 800 number to call uh, for help. Good, good. Well, it looks like there's no excuse why people can't get their taxes in on time. What's the date? Mm -hmm. April 15th. It is the 15th. There's <laughs> well, the 15th. you know, sometimes there's a holiday, there's this or that, or they, you know. That's in in right. Massachusetts, I think that's where the problems come up. There's a, a, a date in Massachusetts, they have a holiday, and then our, we give us an extra date in the East Coast. Right. <laughs> yeah, to do it. Uh, so you can do both your federal and state on this website. On, the, on the FASTA sites for free. Right. And then uh, just to, to remind the viewers again about... Uh, filing for regular taxes, probably the easiest way to find out where a site is closest to the to where they live is by dialing two one one. Okay. And you tell the and that's uh, the United Way. United uh, Way yeah. uh, information uh, line for social services. You just tell the operator your zip code, and then she'll they'll ha they have dual capability. They can either give you the phone number for the site. Or for many sites, they're actually able to make the appointment. Appointment for you. Wonderful. So you get it uh, done right in one No call. excuse why you can't get your None. taxes done because there are so many tools out there for you uh, that are no charge. And we certainly want to make sure that everybody stays nice and legal. You don't want anybody knocking on your door saying, whoops, you didn't do your taxes. I well, don't think they do that, though. No, but <laughs> the other thing, and Melinda kind of briefly spoke about it under, under the Earned Income Tax Credit, uh, one of the things that we've discovered uh, in all the years that Melinda and I have been involved with the Cash, Co Cash Coalition is the fact that there's 20 to 25 percent of the, of the population that doesn't file for the earned income tax credit, and it's money that they're it's entitled money they should to. Have gotten. On the and table. it's the number one way. Because they don't know. And it's the number, way, number one way to help lift the families out of poverty is yeah. the, the earned income Very tax important. credit. It is. Well, you got the, the skinny on taxes and getting your taxes done, and you can certainly check their websites. We have them on my uh, website, and also um, in, it's been showing up on the show. Uh, give them a call. Find out what, how you can get your taxes done. Don't let it go. This is March. Next, next time you're on is going to be the final day, so who knows? Days. You know, mm -hmm. There's not much leeway there. We'll find out how you can delay your taxes and find out what you have to do for that. I guess that's be the next thing. We want to thank you both for he pleasure. for being here. It's thank always a you. pleasure to have you here and to tell tell us about the disabilities. It's so important. And Richard, it's always good thank to you. see you.